Hey guys, Pepperemi here, and this week we are going to be taking a look at the classic spaghetti bolognese. Now the ingredients list for this is going to be broken up into the base recipe and the sauce. Now for the base, you are going to need two medium onions, two carrots, two celery sticks, some garlic, how much you use is up to you, and some rosemary, preferably fresh, and 500 grams of fresh beef mince. Now all the vegetables you are going to want to finely chop to all of roughly the same size. And for the tomato sauce, we are going to want two 400 gram tins of plum tomatoes, a small pack of basil, which is going to be finely chopped, one teaspoon of dried oregano, two fresh bay leaves, two tablespoons of tomato puree, one beef stock cube, and 125 milliliters of red wine. Now to start, simply add some oil to a saucepan over a medium heat. If you wish, you can add some chopped bacon here. You want to let that fry until crisp and then cook the rest of the vegetables in the reduced bacon fat. Then simply add all of your finely chopped vegetables to the oil and let cook until softened. You can also change the ingredients slightly here if you want more onion, less onion. I also added a courgette because my courgette plants won't stop producing courgettes and we're kind of getting overruns. We're pretty much adding courgette to everything we can at the moment. Once your veg has softened slightly, add your fresh mint and cook until brown. This should be around three to four minutes. Then add your sauce ingredients to the pan. Now also, if you want to add a little bit of spice here, you can add a red chili or two. Now we just want to simply bring the sauce up to a boil and reduce the temperature to a simmer and let cook for at least an hour and up to an hour and 15 minutes. You should be left with a nice thick rich sauce. To serve this dish I made some fresh pasta, I will have a video to that linked at the end of this video. However you can also use dried spaghetti which is no problem whatsoever. And just make sure you cook the spaghetti just before the bolognese has finished cooking. Now serve immediately with some fresh grated parmesan over the top and some nice bread. I chose to use the focaccia bread that I made too. There will be a video link to that in the end as well. Now I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This recipe does take a fair while to cook but it is really worth it compared to just pouring some sauce out of a jar. Now with cooking you get out what you put in and just a little bit of extra time because you don't have to keep stirring the sauce just a little bit of extra cooking time makes all the difference and gives you a much better tasting meal but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this and i will see you all next week for a new cooking video thanks for watching